Hey all guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm going to be showing what all I packed for my hospital bag for my delivery as I'm preparing to give birth in another few days. I packed and prepped my bag when I was 32, 32 weeks around and my bags are ready to go. So I packed overall three bags. This was a good tip I received from my midwife. So the first bag is for the day when I will be giving birth. So it will have only the necessities I need during that time. And the second bag is for my stay at the hospital. So I don't know how long I'll be staying. If I'll have a normal delivery or C-section or end up staying more in the hospital, then I might need more stuff. So I packed all of that in another suitcase. And the third bag is the baby stuff, which I all packed in a small diaper bag. So let's go with this bag. This bag has all the stuff I need during the delivery. So it's always better to call up the hospital where you will be delivering and ask them the list of things you need to bring with you. And my hospital did give me a list of things. So I packed only according to that. And then few things here and there, which is for my comfort, which I might be needing. The first thing first I got uh, is a water bottle which has a zipper functionality because during delivery you, you can't keep drinking water from a glass or the bottles which just have this open mouth so this is really great i can sip and give it back then i got the wallet which has all my cards especially the health insurance card then i got some money and also the most important thing i got some coins over here you never know you might need something from the vending machine from the hospital so these coins will be really helpful then all the documents i might need i got all the document in this file our birth and marriage certificate translated to german and our id cards and passport and my motor pass so the next thing i packed is this um delivery gown or an it or whatever you call it so this goes like a this is like a button down um, night dress soon after i deliver i can breastfeed easily with this i can have my baby's skin to skin contact with this because these buttons are really easy to open i also packed another bathrobe or i don't know this kind of a tie up on top of it this is just a layer which i'll be wearing probably over the gown whenever i feel cold or i have to walk around during my contractions then this will be of great help i don't know if i'll use it but i just packed it just in case the next thing i packed are these two pair of warm cozy comfortable socks now i don't know which socks i'm gonna like because one is super warm one is like moderately warm and my feet get lot lot colder and during especially during the delivery time the feet gets even more colder so i don't know what i'm gonna like it so that's why i packed like two options with me then i packed all the toiletries which might need on that day so here i have what do i have i have some tissue papers i have some masks then i have some toilet papers then i have a face wipe if i need to especially freshen up quickly and i'm sweating a lot then i have a moisturizer so this moisturizer is from balia it's all it's both for the face and the body then i got the lip balm so this is the balia intensive lip balm and then i got also a hand cream then i also have a sleeping mask i don't know if i'm gonna get a family room there because they don't assure anything but if i don't then just want to get some rest in the night and if the lights are on then i would just use this so i also packed some antacids so my nausea is still going strong all these months so i don't know when i might need them because i got some hair ties and some hair pins then i have a small trial pack of the pregnancy um oil main reason i got this is because my stomach is pretty itchy nowadays and this oil really helps me to relieve the itch. So this I kept it separately because I think this I will be needing the most in that room. But I also have another toiletries bag which is for the overnight stay. For example with all the um, toiletries and stuff. So in this I have another toilet paper. Shampoo and body wash 2 in 1. Roll on deodorant. A comb. Small moisturizer for my face. Toothpaste. More eye drops sticks, small face wash small hair oil so the next one is a pretty big bag it will so in this hand luggage bag all my husband's stuff and my stuff will be going in here 
um so the first thing first i got two towels so somebody told me to pack the dark towel for me then i got some more masks here so then i packed my um bathroom slippers so i think but those slippers will go into my delivery room bag then i packed one um sweater or a cardigan this is this also has like buttons here so it's easy to breastfeed i packed a couple of more socks for wearing at hospital these can be also worn outside when i'm coming back home two pairs of breastfeeding bras these are the ones which are like so soft here they don't have like this thick elastic underneath because of my heartburn and all that stuff i cannot wear a thick um, elastic one anymore then i packed some underwears so these are the classic um, granny panties or period underwears i know the hospital also provides this mesh underwear but the hospital also asked me to bring the underwear which i'm comfortable wearing so i just i just packed two of them just in case so these are the ones which go over the c-section scar if i end up having a c-section i don't know so then i packed one pair of joggers I also packed um, my pregnancy leggings uh, two sets of pajamas and then this is my coming home dress this is like a high waist thick sweater type pant it's really loose and comfortable and then a sweatshirt then i packed one extra breastfeeding top although i have two pajama shirts which are like front opening for breastfeeding i still thought that i would pack one extra top in case i need also some laundry bags to bring back the old dirty clothes home then i packed my happy po hand bidet i don't know how the vaginal delivery end up so if i have a lot of tear and uh, incisions so i might need this to clean the stuff and this is really easy to just fill in the water and wash myself you don't need to bend a lot to wash so this is really helpful then i packed my kirshaker nakisan which is the cherry stone heating pad so this stuff has helped me a lot when i was having a little bit of braxton hicks contractions or my hip was paining after sleeping for a long time these are really helpful to use during the contractions and husband also knows how to use them on where to keep them and how i like it then last but not the least the snack pack so i got all the snacks in this pack probably it's a lot i'm not going to take all of it but i will just go through what i got so i got some crackers here more crackers these are like just plain salted crackers because of my nausea i cannot eat any other flavored ones then i got some chocolates because i have extremely low blood pressure and i need these um sugar candies or chocolates to bring my energy back some cookies some crispy peas glucose which is called trauben zucker here actually my heba may also recommended me to take this because these are really good for kick start your energy this is the iso drink for my energy levels peach and mango like a flavored drink as well okay the next bag we'll be going through is the baby bag so the first thing first i packed like a small sweater for him two of these burp clothes these are like the muslin burp clothes hat because it's extremely cold and he'll be peak winter baby so a thick cap and then thick pair of socks then a pair of gloves full jumper so i packed two sizes one is the smaller and one is the bigger that's what actually my hospital suggested if he ends up being a big baby then he will get into this one this is also like a warm jumper i think these are called rompers not jumpers i think they are called onesies i think um so this will go as a first layer so i got this um onesie and then a pair of stockings also another um romper in the small size the big size i already showed this is the small size what is this the snow suit it's this is the one actually which will go on top of him uh when he comes out of the hospital so this is going to be his jacket then finally i got a blanket to just in case to hold him or wrap him or something i think i packed one diaper here one small packet of wet wipes in case i need them of course the main important thing is the baby seat and we got it installed in the car already and it's ready to go hope that gave you some idea or at least some entertainment if you are packing your hospital bag um sometime soon or in the future that's it in this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and that will mean a lot to me and i'll see you guys in my next one bye